Good afternoon and welcome to More Meets the Eye. I'm your host, Blind Prime, and for today, I have already lost a piece. Um, there it is. Okay, cool. We got it all together now. Uh, today, we're going to be talking about Transformers Studio Series Gamerverse Sideswipe. Here they are in all of their glory, and uh, we're going to talk to them. Uh, not talk to them today. We're going to talk about them today and uh, discuss the pros, the cons, how it feels in the hand, and uh, everything else. Uh, so, yeah, if you... If you want to share and subscribe yeah please like share subscribe comment below tell me you know what what is your favorite figure of the game reverse line so far i've got some hang-ups about the game reverse line but i could not say no to a sideswipe i it's sideswipe like what if they come out with a game reverse sunstreaker i'm gonna be getting it because it's sunstreaker and especially warpath if they come out with a game reverse warpath i'm going to be a very happy blind prime because if you've been following my channel long enough you know my love of tanks i love me some tanks Tanks, you're welcome. It comes from my years of playing World of Warcraft. I will always appreciate tanks. They they were always very helpful. So, let's get into uh, this figure and talk about his pros and his cons and discuss him in depth. And, uh, yeah, so uh, first off, we're going to talk about one of the things I noticed about this guy. And I don't know if I got a messed up copy or something. He doesn't have ankle tilt. Uh, that This is the first Transformer that isn't from you know, like Titan's Return or something like that, that they've just recolored and refurbished, that uh, that, that doesn't have ankle tilt. Like, his feet fold, you know, because of transformation, but that there's, there's there's just no ankle tilt. Uh, I don't I don't know how you're supposed to, like, get him to... He, he can't really do any of the really cool moves that other Transformers... What, what, what is up with you? Okay. Uh, so, yeah, that that's the negative right there. That, uh, straight out of the box, I noticed that one, and I was like, Really? So let's give him the shake test. Oh, that's not good. Why is your leg so loose? Your leg shouldn't be this loose, but it is loose. It's very, it's a very, very, very loose leg. Look at that. Look at that leg. Ah, yeah, I could just kick it. Yeah. All right. Uh, so that that leg is also a problem. Um, now we're gonna come over here to this, to the joint in the knee, which is also loose. Like this guy's just loosey goosey. And the thing is, is I don't think this is a retool or a repaint of anything. I think sideswipe here. Is sideswipe like this mold, this, this this tooling, and this entire sculpt is for sideswipe. So I'm just like, wow, uh, this is a brand new sculpt you, you're doing for your studio series, and you've already got loose joints. Like like they've been using this mold for a while, unless they were recycling pieces from other things, in which case I understand the loose joints. But it, it's honestly seemed like uh like they have phoned in a huge chunk of Studio Series Game Reverse. That, that's kind of how it feels to me. And um, I, I do like this one, but I don't like it at the same time. So let's let's continue. Okay, well, um, hip, he kicks up at, uh, 40, at a little more than 45. He kicks forward at 90. He kicks back at 90, uh, 90. His knee bends at a single joint. His elbow bends at a single joint. Actually, no, his elbow has a double joint, I think, right? Is that a double joint, or is that just a really good hinge yeah no it's just a really good hinge so it's not a double joint it's just a single joint and he can spin at the waist kind of because of the backpack gets in the way so you have to kind of pick the backpack up and then spin him at the waist all right uh that's kind of his articulation other than the fact his arm can swivel and he can pick it up at 45 degrees that's it um so let's talk about sculpt work because the sculpt work on this guy is actually really good we've got some really cool stuff going on with his toes we've got some really nice uh, textures for kind of a robot mode textures going on for his leg. I love these these vertical vents going up the leg. I, I think that would, you know, with the right colors added to it, I think that would make it pop. That's some, I like those vertical vents. They're nice. And on the side of his leg, we've got this really cool armor panel that's actually the side of the vehicle mode that's spun around and situated there. To It, it, it works. It's a really cool piece. I like it. I really do. I just... It, it's just, it's so, it's got so many cool textures on it. And it feels really good in the hand. Like, the plastic for this thing is top-notch plastic. This plastic feels great in the hand. Coming over here to the thighs, we got another instance of uh, them not really caring about the thighs too much and not really putting much work into them. We got some sculpting, but honestly, you know, it, there's not much there. And, uh, you know, we've got a thigh swivel going on there. Uh, coming up here to the groin, we've got a yeah, decent groin area. Coming over here, yeah, it's, it's, it's not much. There's like this uh, little square thing. Yeah, it's just about it. 
Uh, coming up here to the chest, we've got some really good textures going on here for the front of this chest. I mean, it's smooth. I think it's supposed to be the front of the vehicle mode. And it is, it's nice. You know, it's solid. It feels like a chunk of armor on his chest. Uh, it does feel like Sideswipe here is more armored up than he has ever been before. Even in the, um, even in the Siege stuff, you know, he, he feels like he's got more armor on him here than with Siege. Around to the back of him, we've got the, uh, the kind of the backpack area. And yeah, that, that's just about it. Uh, the backpack's really nice, and it's got some good textures on it. And it's really compact. I do love the fact that the backpack's compact. Another thing that I found, found is interesting is these little tabs to give him um, shoulder pauldrons. Or um, he's got uh, lapels. That's it, right? Lapels? Mm. Uh, I'm forgetting the name of it. But, uh, but you, you have them on the shoulder. Epaulets. He's got epaulets on his shoulders. They fold over and lock the wheel in place, and I do like that. I like the fact he's got epaulets. That's just kind of cool. And um, coming over here, we've got his gun that's plugged into his hand, and we can unplug that and plug his hand back in. There it is. Uh, this is something I dislike about these guys, is the fact that you have to like unplug and plug back in the hand stuff. When I was like, you're a Transformers company. Can't you just find a way to make the hand transform away? Uh, I know it's going to be an asymmetrical transformation, but people aren't, aren't always negative to asymmetrical transformations. Asymmetrical transformations can be kind of cool. So I just don't get why you would do this. And also why that has a lip on it, like it's some sort of mushroom peg for his arm here. And uh, let me see, we've got to get this arm back into this peg. Ah, there. Nope, oh, nope, nope, it folded up. Okay. Let's try it again. All right, All right. we got the arm here. We got the peg there. Put the, put the elbow outside. Line the peg up. N nuts. Um, I don't like the fact that that was a mushroom peg. Uh, did, did I accidentally pull off the wrong arm? I thought I was supposed to pull off the right arm, and it turned into a gun. Unless this guy's different. Yeah. He's probably different. Come on. Come on now. Get back together. It's not doing it. So uh, that's a negative. Uh, why can't I put the arm back in when I could easily take the arm out? I just can't put the arm back. Uh, oh, come on. Come on. We're doing the video right now. Be a better. Be a better side swipe. Does your other arm come off? Like, uh, did, did, did I just pull off the wrong arm? No, this one feels more solid than the other one did. So I, I pulled off the correct arm, but uh, now because there's a there's a lip on that little peg sticking out, I can't seem to get this guy to freaking go back to where he was before. Stupid mushroom-headed peg. Why are you there? If I'm supposed to unplug the hand, why are you there? Why are you there just to torment me? And now I won't be able to transform you unless I figure out how to put this hand back. So we're just we're just gonna leave that one alone. Okay, I tried. You saw me try. You saw me make the attempt. Uh, let's uh, let's go ahead and showcase the other weapon he comes with that can plug into his arm here. And let's see if this one actually plugs in. This is some sort of um, I don't know uh, uh, axe uh, shield. I don't know what this is supposed to be, but it's the only place in the body it plugs in is either behind the head, which makes it look really goofy. Like we could plug it in behind the head, or you can plug it into the arm. Um, we're going to plug it in behind the head, and then you can, like, raise it up, and now he's got this crazy silhouette. You can you can make it a silhouette maker, and then you fold it back, and it just kind of hangs out back there. We can rotate it around and fold it back, and it doesn't do anything. But we can rotate it around and fold it up, and we got a different silhouette. Isn't that neat? But, yeah, other than that peg on the back and the peg in his hand, uh, there's no place to put this weapon. I don't know. It just feels like parts forming to me. I just like it. I just like that that arm can't come back up. But let's go ahead and put the gun back on, because we can at least do that, I think. Can we? Can we put the gun back on? Are you going to give me issues if I try to put the gun back on? Oh, boy. Mm. Mm, got boobies. That's in my stomach. Let's see. Come on. Oh, man. There it goes. Okay, well, at least the gun goes back on. You know, that, that's nice. That's nice. So let's continue talking about sculpt work. The arms are pretty decent. Um, and, uh, overall rating on, like, this, this, this guy, the sculpt work is fine. Uh, I do like the sculpt work. Um, I don't like his backpack. Uh, I don't like how it 
it, it doesn't have any more folding to it. I think they could have done just a little bit better with that. I don't like the fact that the arm connection, that you, know, you have to pull the arm off to put the gun on, but then you can't get the arm back on because of the design flaw there. So that's the negative. Uh, you know, this guy, he, he makes an attempt, and he is a decent Transformer, like, but for robot mode, for robot mode, we're going to give him a 6 out of 10. I mean, I like him, but he's got too many problems. You, you can't put the arm back on very well. It seems like, you know, it's a chore to put the arm back on. And, um, I mean, with Optimus Prime here, it kind of just fell off all the time. So I appreciate that they tried to do something to fix that problem. Like, here we got Optimus Prime, and we can just kind of pull his hand off. Now, that's Optimus Prime. I wonder. We're, 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 we'll, we'll do an experiment here since we have the Optimus Prime. And uh, there's the little peg hole. So let's, let's just pull off his. Let's raise this up a bit more. Can we switch arms? I'm curious if we can switch arms. So let's just switch arms. Hey, let's see. Uh -huh. All right, I'm going to slide that in over there. And nope. Maybe it needs to be. Ah, it felt like it was about to, but then it, it folded up again. I, I dislike the fact that it's on such a small hinge. It's really difficult to get this arm, uh, the, this, this weird peg thing, to do anything that you want it to do. Because it's just so darn inconvenient. But we can kind of put that arm on there, and I think it, you know, it looks super goofy. Instead of Prime taking you know, um, uh, Megatron's arm, it's Sideswipe taking Prime's. Can we plug it in that way? Can we get it in? Well, um, unexpected uh, a thing that just occurred. So let's, let's, let's set Optimus Prime's arm back down. And uh, let's figure out what in the world I just did. Oh, okay, it's on a ball joint. Oh, joy. I'm not really loving the ball joints. I'm not really loving the ball joints at all. They they just they're they're really annoying. So let's let's compare this sideswipe Gamerverse to the Gamerverse Prime because I mean if you got a Gamerverse Prime, compare sizes because most likely if you're collecting these guys, you already have Gamerverse Prime. So here we go. And we can get that um, sideswipe here stands. Come on, Gamerverse Prime, stand up straight, buddy. Come on, there you go. And, ah, nope, chunky guy. Okay, there we are. And side swipe goes to the middle of Prime's chest. Okay, go just a little bit, a bit above it. Just a bit above it. Um, we're gonna set them side to side, and we get that. Uh, yeah, Prime, Prime, Prime's a big boy in comparison. He is a chunky dude. All right, back to back. Here's a nice little comparison of them. Weight-wise, Prime is definitely in the, 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 the heavier size category. And Prime's also got the better hinges in his legs. Uh, the only hinge I don't like about the Prime is the arm. He even has a uh, ankle tilt, unlike Sideswipe, which is a shame. You know, you'd think Sideswipe would have the ankle tilts. I love my Sideswipes, and I love me some ankle tilts. Um, so, yeah, overall rating for this robot mode is going to be a 6 out of 10. I... I wanted to give it a better score. I really wanted to give it a better score. But there's this flaw of the arm, and there's no, no ankle tilt, and, and then, of course, there's the brand new mold that feels like it's been in operation for years with how loose this joint is. Like, what in the world? What happened there, Hasbro? What happened here? Why is this joint so loose? I mean, this is looser than uh, than Ultra Magnus. So honestly, with the looseness of that joint, my copy personally, I'm going to give a 5 out of 10. Uh, I love me a Sunstreaker, but th this is a lot of, this is a lot that, that I just don't like about it. All right, well, thanks for watching today's video. <laughs> I know, I know, bit of a downer, but, uh, you know, I, I'm here to be honest with you and, and, and give you my personal opinion. And my personal opinion is... Uh, if you want Sideswipe from, from Gamerverse, get it on sale. Until next time, bye-bye for now.